All right, good morning. Today's lesson is going to talk about function values and looking at the idea of something we already know, which is function notation, and also then how to interpret when we have more than two functions graphed on the same graph, and then the idea of where two functions are equal to one another, which is a big concept in problem solving. So you've previously learned that when you have the graph of a function, that something like f of 0, that the 0 would represent the x value. And so that would be what, it's, what f of 0 would be equal to would be the corresponding y value, which in this case would be negative 4. And for f of 3, looking at the x value of 3, we see that the corresponding y value would be 2. So applying that then to... This idea here, where we're looking at, we have two functions that are graphed. We have to pay attention to whether we're dealing with, so here we're looking at what f of 6 equals. So we have to make sure that we're focusing on the function f of x instead of g of x. So that's one of the things. So f of 6, x would be equal to 6, and that would be this point right here. So the corresponding y value would be 0. If, however, we look at g of 6, the x coordinate is the same, but now we're focusing on the g of x function. So that would be this point here, which has a corresponding y value of 3. We can also, looking at something like this, we have to understand this is talking about, so we have f of 2 minus g of 2. So we have to find the corresponding y values for the function f when x is 2, and the y value for the point where g has an x value of 2, and then it says we're subtracting them. So in this case, f of 2, so here's our f of x function, and here's our x value of 2, that would be this point, which has a y coordinate of 2. Then we're going to subtract from that the y coordinate for the point where x is 2, for the g function. So x is still 2, but now we're look, looking at this point, which has a y coordinate of negative 1. So we have 2 minus negative 1, which as we know would be the same thing as 2 plus positive 1, which would be equal to positive 3. This notation is similar, but this time we have different x values, and we are adding the y values that these represent. So g of 1, we have to make sure that we have an x of 1, but that we're focusing on the g function, which would be then this point right here which has a y-coordinate of negative 2. Then we're going to add that to the y-coordinate of the point on the f function that has an x of negative 2. So here's our x of negative 2. Here's our f function, and it has a y-value of positive 4. So here we have negative 2 plus 4, which is positive 2. Here, we're going back to the basic idea of what is f of 4 equal to. So bear with me, there's a point to this. So f of 4, here's where x is 4. Here we notice that the two functions, f of x and g of x, are actually intersecting at that point. So that particular point is part of both functions. So f of 4, which would be this point here, has a y-coordinate of 1. And then if we look at g of 4, that's the idea. g of 4 here would also be equal to 1. So where we're going to take this next is understanding that when we're looking at something like f of 4 and g of 4, a point of intersection, that these two y values are the same, when we extend this now to the concept of f of x equals g of x, that where that actually is happening is actually at the x coordinate of 4. So here f of 4 is equal to the y value of 1, but now looking at the concept of where f of x equals g of x, that actually is saying where is the y value of f, the f function equal to the y value of the g function. So we already know the y's are equal to one another. Where that happens is at the corresponding x. So we have this point right here. Those y values are both 6. That happens at the x coordinate of negative 2. So f of x equals g of x at the x value of negative 2. For this particular point, Again, the y values are the same. The y values are both 1. It happens at the x-coordinate of 3. So f of x equals g of x at x equals 3. All right, so looking at this particular problem as an example, 
we're supposed to find where k of x equals m of x. We have to realize that means what is x equal to where the y's or the y values are the same. So y values will be the same at any point of intersection. So that's where we have to go to the graph. We have to find all the points of intersection. We find one here and we find one there between k and m. And then we have to realize, okay, the y's would both be 9 here, and that is happening at the x-coordinate of 2. Here the y's would both be 3, and that is happening at the x-coordinate of 5. So your conclusion would be k of x equals m of x at x equals 2 and x equals 5. So, looking at that one more time. So here for this example, we're looking for where is p of x equal to b of x. And the idea here again is that another way of looking at this or understanding the concept is x equals what at any point of intersection. This is more a skill-based idea than a concept base. way of looking at the problem. So we have points of intersection here and here. And so here the y's are the same. They're both 2 at an x value of negative 5. Here at this point the y's are both 5 at an x value of negative 2. So our conclusion will be p of x equals b of x at x equals negative 5 and x equals negative 2. Like so. All right. You can pause here if you'd like to try the practice problem. Your conclusion should have been f of x equals g of x at x equals 0 and x equals 5. Another practice problem. Your conclusion here should be h of x equals k of x at x equals 4, understanding that the vertex of the parabola is actually the only point of intersection. So your x value of that vertex is 4. And a third one, if you'd like to do another one. Conclusion here would be d of x equals m of x at x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. All right, so now we're into the last part of the lesson with this concept. So here with this particular concept, we're looking at finding where f of x minus g of x equals 0. Mathematically, we realize, have to realize this means is that the y values of f of x and g of x, when subtracted, would have to equal 0. The only way that happens is if they're, that they are the same. So symbolically, this means the same thing as where f of x equals g of x. Mathematically, the idea is we could add g of x to both sides of this little equation. This adds up to 0, giving us f of x equals, and 0 plus g of x is g of x. So it's the same thing. This and this <coughs> mean the same thing. So therefore, f of x minus g of x equals 0, and x equals 0, and x equals 3, the x-coordinates of the points of intersection. All right, so doing a problem with this concept. So we're finding where m of x minus n of x equals 0. So we have to realize this would be the same as where m of x equals n of x. And so we have a point of intersection here, which has an x-coordinate of negative 1. We have a point of intersection there, which has an x-coordinate of 5. And now, the other thing, other thing is, though, your conclusion needs to start with the concept, the question that was asked. So your conclusion should be m of x minus m of x equals 0 at x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 5. All right, 
There's a practice problem. You can pause and try this one. Conclusion here should be w of x minus c of x equals 0, and x equals negative 3, and x equals 0, the x-coordinates of the points of intersection. And for this one again, so for this one, we're looking at p of x minus f of x equals 0, and x equals negative 2, and x equals positive 2. And we're going to create graphs like this in the next lesson and apply this concept to help us solve problems. Your closure, true or false, are two functions are equal to each other at the y-coordinate of a point of intersection. So you should understand that that would be false. Two functions are actually the same value or are equal at the x-coordinate of a point of intersection. And true or false, two functions have a difference of 0 at the x-coordinate of a point of intersection that would actually be true because difference of zero means where the two functions were have the same y value and that happens at the x coordinate all right this is the end of the lesson if you've completed your notes you'll be able to start the assignment